There have been chatter on the internet regarding Jamaicans' IQ or lack thereof. The argument is most Jamaicans have an IQ of 75 or less. We at Jamaica Live have decided to address the issue. The truth about IQ and Jamaica. Myths, science, and colonial legacies. In recent years, Jamaica has occasionally appeared in global IQ rankings, with controversial claims that the country's average intelligence quotient, IQ, is significantly lower than the global norm. Some reports, particularly those derived from the book IQ and the Wealth of Nations by Richard Lynn, have cited Jamaican IQ scores as low as 67 to 72. An individual with an IQ score of 70 to 75 or below is classified as having an intellectual disability or mental retardation. Regarding intellectual functioning, an IQ score of approximately 70 or below, potentially extending as high as 75, is often considered to be indicative of a significant limitation in intellectual functioning. However, an IQ score alone is not sufficient for diagnosis of intellectual disability. It's crucial to also consider how the individual functions in everyday life, according to the Ohio Department of Education. Is superstition a factor? Superstition is not a direct contributor to low IQ. However, in communities where superstition supplants scientific education often due to a scarcity of resources or the aftermath of colonialism, it may be indicative of inadequately funded educational systems rather than the fundamental cause of diminished test performance. Nonetheless, if an individual being assessed responds to a query with a religious or superstitious belief, the outcome may influence their IQ test results. The IQ statistics most commonly cited about Jamaica are based on outdated, methodologically flawed, and culturally biased studies. The most referenced data was gathered in the 1,962nd from school children, during a period when access to quality education, nutrition, and healthcare in Jamaica was still heavily impacted by colonial underdevelopment. Key problems with these studies include Small, unrepresentative sample sizes. Tests developed in Western countries and not adapted for Caribbean cultures. Neglect of socioeconomic and environmental factors like poverty, malnutrition, and trauma. Biases of the researchers, particularly Richard Lynn, whose work has been widely discredited for links to eugenics and white supremacist ideologies. In short, these IQ rankings say far more about the biases of the testers than the intelligence of the tested. Read the full report at jamaicalivenews.com.